right so let us come back and do the next concept of your uh, group uh, 16 that is the compounds of oxygen so we have already done uh, we've studied uh, the preparation on um, chemical properties of oxygen then i gradually taught you the uh, compound of oxygen that is ozone we've also seen how to prepare ozone molecule then we have seen the chemical properties of ozone i've done certain questions on ozone also after that we'll finish off the compound of oxygen that is uh, by studying the simple oxides so what actually is a simple oxide if i have to define so simple oxides are those where you know it's a binary element it means a binary compound with combination of two elements together while like that a binary oxygen atom combining with some other metal for example let's write what did i say first just now so simple oxides are formed are formed <coughs> when a binary oxygen atom combines with combines with another element okay what does this mean suppose if i have to speak about simple oxides simple oxides are of three types so let us write the same in terms of three, three types the first type of simple oxide is acidic oxide the next type of simple oxide is basic oxide the next type which you have already studied is the most famous aluminium oxide that is amphoteric oxide amphoteric oxide now i said uh, oxygen atom combining with some other element that now if i have to take acidic oxide basic oxides or amphoteric oxides only remember your non-metals which you've already studied non-metals that is your right extreme if i have to take the periodic table in this way then yes so all these non-metals they form acidic oxides first category when i have to speak about basic oxides your metals are going to form basic oxides and aluminium oxide that is al2o3 forms amphoteric oxides so whenever you're forming acidic oxides i said <coughs> a binary oxygen atom with another element now what did i say just now acidic oxides are formed by non-metals so now let us take the oxide form of non-metals anything suppose if i have to take carbon okay carbon carbon and oxygen carbon dioxide now see here oxygen atom with another element binary oxygen atom with another element so this is an oxide form of this now if i'm combining this with water i'm going to get carbonic acid <coughs> right because of the formation of acids non-metals are called acidic oxides let me take one more if i take sulfur dioxide plus water what do you get i get h2so3 sulfurous acid carbonic acid sulfuric acid sulfurous acid so non-metals always try to form acidic oxides so non-metals are acidic oxides why because when they dissolve in water they are going to form acids done when i have to come to basic oxides let us pick up now metals i have to be careful because i said basic oxides are formed by metals which metals metallic oxides remember that non-metallic oxides or metal oxides here these are metal oxides let us pick up the first any any example anything you can pick up suppose if i have to take magnesium oxide this is a metal oxide now i'm comparing I'm, i have to show that it is basic in nature isn't it now suppose if i dissolve it in acid why did i take acid because to prove this is an acid uh, so to, to prove it the, to prove this is a base if i dissolve it in an acid acid plus base give, should give me salt plus water simple isn't it once again to prove metallic oxide is basic in nature what should i do i can take this okay dissolve in water that's fine but if i add it in an acid so now acid plus base okay give gives me salt plus water just see now you're getting mgso4 salt plus water hence proved isn't it hence proved metallic oxides are basic in nature because they are formed salt plus water let us take one more example suppose if i take na2o sodium is also a metal i'm going to pick up the metallic oxide of sodium when i dissolve it in hcl now see this is an acid this is a basic oxide i'm assuming it and if this is a basic oxide it has to form salt plus water so obviously it's going to form salt plus water we get NaCl 
2 NaCl plus water right <coughs> so uh, we have already written uh, 2 and this is H2 so let us write 2 done so because sodium oxide a metallic oxide when dissolved it in an acid it's trying to form a salt and water a type of neutralization reaction or a neutralization reaction metal oxides are always forming basic oxides remember non-metal oxides form acidic are acidic oxides because they release acids metal oxides are basic in nature which can be proved by this neutralization reaction as they have formed salt and water simple now when i have to speak about amphoteric oxides simple example i'm going to take al2o3 so amphoteric as the name suggests it dissolves both in acid as well as base just like your frog we call it as amphibian both it uh, it will be present both in land and water it can survive both in land and water ampho means both right both it can dissolve in acid under base done if i have to take an acid same aluminium oxide or <clears throat> listen i'm taking in the form of a base now it's going to form <coughs> aluminium chloride alcl3 and the leftover water done so aluminium is 2 so i'm writing 2 here when this is 2 chlorine is 3 2s are 6 so 6 here hydrogen has become 6 so i'll write 3 so now balance isn't it oxygen is 3 oxygen is 3 hydrogen is 6 hydrogen is 6 aluminium is 2 aluminium is 2 chlorine is 6 done now when i have to write uh, an answer for this you have to be careful here here to react with both an acid and a base so if i take two moles of this i'm going to get a compound called na first one al then o2 plus two water molecules okay let me see how did i balance this now uh, here how many sodiums so two sodiums now let's see whether it is balanced or not na is two okay aluminium is two okay oxygen is three plus two five here oxygens are two two is a four right then how many did i get okay let us compare again this is five oxygens here when i have to see four five six done so this is called sodium aluminate done okay hydrogens are not balanced let me check mm, two hydrogens so two two is a four okay uh, this should not be there i okay, heard yes this is correct now it will be careful let's see again now aluminium two balanced oxygen three plus two five balanced here oxygens on the lh side you have four plus one five balanced hydrogen is two two okay so now what am i trying to explain aluminium being an amphoteric oxide it's going to combine with acid forming salt plus water it's going to combine with base forming sodium meta aluminate done plus water salt plus water again the same thing again in the exam if they ask you what are ex state examples of simple oxides simply just write simple oxides a binary oxygen atom it's a combination of an oxygen atom with any other element element can be non-metal element can be metal element can be amphoteric oxide also so non-metallic oxides form acidic oxides because when dissolved in water they form acids metallic oxides form uh, basic oxides means they are basic in nature how did i prove i picked up a neutralization reaction where they formed salt plus water as i have already shown amphoteric oxides